Hey everyone, welcome to the SCP Narrator's channel. This video is about the SCP-025, a well-worn wardrobe. Let's aim for 10 likes in this video. Item, SCP-025, Object Class, Safe, Special Containment Procedures, SCP-025, only to be opened during testing, as it is in the room in which SCP-025 is stored. Entry cords are to be given to only authorized research and security personnel. No other containment protocols are required. Description SCP-025 is a wooden wardrobe measuring 0.9 meter into 0.6 meter into 1.9 meter, full of clothing dating from a number of time periods. Articles contained within the chest collectively named SCP-025-1 match with styles of decades from the 1920s to the present. The apparel from each time frame varies regard to style. For example, a polyester striped shirt and pair of charcoal suit pants both correspond with general styles of 1970s. The only unifying aspect of every article contained in SCP-025 is that each one of them is in poor condition. Moths have eaten at much of the collection and tears and runs are not uncommon. When any item from SCP-025 is put on, it is observed that either the wearer or the family member of the wearer is to die or suffer an injury within 24 hours. The cause of death or injury in these instances is invariably linked to aforementioned flaws in the clothing but only ever appears to be an unrelated incident. Wearing a glove with a fingertip cut off may result in the loss of a fingertip through a simple kitchen accident like chopping onions. Similarly, a subject wearing a poncho with a sleeve missing will somehow cause the loss of an uncovered arm, be it an attack by a wild animal or a vehicular accident that necessitates the amputation of a limb. If placed in a sealed unfurnished enclosure while wearing an item from the chest, the wearer will either seemingly spontaneously contract a flesh-eating disease that begins in the areas not covered by the clothing, or suffer the failure of an organ located beneath an imperfection in the article. Diseases arising from such incidents may or may not be contagious. No study has been successfully undertaken due to the spread at which the strains observed run the course. Recommended that, if possible, samples of diseases be taken to the lab for possible weaponization. Thanks for watching the video. Subscribe to the channel. It keeps us motivated to make more videos.